back to Eugene Casares. When the skull was opened up in court, the pretend skull that Werner Spitz is waving around on the stand, and when they show, publicly show, photographs of Kelly's skull cut open, which I think was wrong. I think it was wrong to do that. What was Tot Mom's response? She turned away. She, she absolutely turned away, but Nancy, she had to listen that Dr. Spitz went to the Bryant Funeral Home in Orlando, Florida. And there is where he found the remains of Kaylee. And there is when he took the saw out and cut open her skull. To Dr. Vincent DeMaio, former chief medical examiner, examiner in Bear County forensic pathologist, joining us tonight out of San Antonio. Dr. DeMaio, thank you for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. Dr. DeMaio, I know that you have performed thousands of autopsies. Is it general protocol to cut a skull open during an autopsy? Only when you have a brain in it. I mean, you have skeletal remains. There are different rules for skeletal remains. And there are no standards that say you have to cut open a skull when you have a skeleton. And don't forget, the skull was examined not only by Dr. Garavaglia, but by uh, physical anthropologists. It was x-rayed. And when uh, it was opened by the uh, defense forensic pathologist, he found nothing. So what's his complaint? That is my point, Dr. DeMaio. 